Hello, I'm Avery Hilditch, the Secretary of the Child Protection Party. I've been working with the party now for about eight years now. Like many people, I was aware that there were issues in the area of child protection. I'd learned about it, uh, yet another failure in the, in the child protection system. I'd say that's terrible, then I'd move on. That was until I heard the story of Ebony Napier Tucker, who was brutally beaten to death by her father when she was just four, uh, four months old. He would routinely beat her while her mother sat by and did nothing. Uh, when, the, when the mother eventually decided to call the authorities, she'd been, Ebony had been lying dead in her crib for about a week. They discovered her dead in the, in the crib, 48 fractures in her ribs, both legs broken and a fractured femur. Just three months earlier, she'd been taken to the uh, Women's and Children's Hospital in Adelaide with a, a fractured femur. Family's essay had been called, she'd been interrogated, quizzed, they were satisfied with the explanations and they let them take her home. During the, a coronial inquiry into the death, they le we learned that Ebony's parents had convictions in New South Wales for her death, but the family's essay had no way of checking whether they had any convictions in any state or territory outside of SA. That outraged me because in 2016, she sh surely they should have been able to use their mobile phone or their tablet to get onto uh, a, the databases in the other states and territories, check have they got conviction. And if that had happened, Ebony might be alive today. Ebony's father, Bradley Napier Tucker, he got nine years for manslaughter. Mother, she got off scot-free. I started a petition to get this changed. And through that petition, I learned about the Child Protection Party. <coughs> Excuse me. Initially, when I joined a party, I was there just to look after the website. But the more I learned, the more involved I got. In 2016, I was asked to take over the role of uh, membership secretary. And by July 2017, we had sufficient members to register in South Australia. Uh, once we got registered, uh, that was just a couple of months before the 2018 election uh, in SA, where we were able to field a couple of candidates for the Legislative Council. And although we had no money, no advertising, and um, very few volunteers and that, we still managed to get 16,000 first preference votes. We were just short with preferences of getting uh, somebody elected in the upper house. Now, I'm not really well versed in the area of child protection, but I am a political animal, have been all my life. And uh, my position as secretary now is to keep the, keep the team on the straight and narrow politically. During my time with the party, I learned much about the parlour state of the child protection services across Australia, but I also learned something about myself. The thing that I learned about my was how different my life as, well, as a child was compared to other children. I learned how fortunate I was to have grown up in, in a family with a loving, caring, nurturing environment. My father, Vic, was a kind, loving man who loved all of his children very deeply. He passed away in 20, uh, 2019. My father was also a loving and caring woman. Sadly, she died in 1964 when I was 13. Uh, at the time, I had two brothers and four sisters. Um, but that didn't stop another wonderful, loving and caring woman coming into my life and the life of my brothers and sisters when my father got remarried in 1966. They were still happily married when, she, when he passed away uh, in 2019. Kathy was only 24 years old when she married the father of seven children. Obviously, things have changed things changed after her marriage but one thing that didn't change much that one thing was that she had a loving and caring stepmother instead of a loving and caring mother we were raised with love and respect we went to, we wanted for nothing but we were in no way spoiled from my parents we learned to be empathetic to care for others to respect other people and how to treat them, people how we expected to be treated by them my parents were role models of how parents should be my aim in joining the Child Protection Party is to do all I can to enable children today to have the same opportunities that I had to lead a life filled with love and happiness. If, as I'm sure you do, you want to see children leading such a life, please consider joining the party, which you can do for only $20 a year at www.childprotection.party. If you'd like to play a, an active role as a team member, we'd love to hear from you as well. Thank you all and have a great day.